Out of the nearly 400 uh, releases for Record Store Day, did you get what you wanted? All right, today is Record Store Day for those people who even care. I've seen so many Record Store Day previews and so many Record Store live streams. I'm about tired of it, but I wanted to try it out just for one time just to see how it was. And it wasn't too bad. Um, some people live in larger cities that have multitudes of record stores and you're going to have multitudes of long lines and difficult parking. And some people, you know, stayed out to 2 o'clock in the morning for the next day to uh, get their albums to be the first one in there. Some stores uh, got Taylor Swift, some stores were out of Taylor Swift, and some stores, uh, you know, um, didn't sell out of Taylor Swift right away. Now, the store that I went to was called Rainbow Records out of Albany, Oregon. Very small place. It's only been open like a year or two. Not much. And this, I think, is their first record store day. But the owner did have a record store back in the day at some point. I don't know exactly when. I didn't read up on all that. But um, very tiny little store, but well designed with lots of, um, lots of dollar records, lots of $5 items, CDs. And of course, the ever popular DVDs that people have a hard time getting rid of these days. Even Dollar Tree can't get rid of their DVDs anymore. And he had a bunch of 25 cent uh, records, which I grabbed one. And this is Good Time Jazz, a Firehouse 5 Plus 2. A really cool one here. The Firehouse 5 were like uh, Disney's Dixieland band or something like that. So I just thought it was really cool. And he threw that in for free. So I thought that was really neat on red vinyl. That was really cool to have that. It's a little scratched, but you know what? For free, I'll take that all day long. That's pretty neat. And then um, the way it worked is that um, they let the first group of people in for a minute. So that was lucky when you were first. You get first choice. And that was the one Taylor Swift album that disappeared. If she had happened to have been there... Um, you know, a few more albums still there, I might have grabbed one. Um, but then I was like, I think, third in line because there was only like five or ten groups in line, so not very many people at all. And um, I would think I was like third, maybe, yeah, I was third in line. And I saw this first, and I said, well, you know, and things were going off the shelves very quickly because there was only one of every copy. I don't think he had any boxes, and if he did, I didn't see them. So we'll try to focus on this here. We'll get my reflection there like you care. And we got Jonathan Richmond and the Modern Lovers on Craft Recordings. Record Store Day exclusive. That's what you want. I don't believe these uh, Record Store Day ones are numbered. Did not know a whole lot about this one even though somebody had reviewed it. This was $23.95. And I said, you know what, that was one of the few that was originally on my list, but then it disappeared off my list because I added so many things on my list. And again, a lot of people, you know, were told to bring lists and, you know, you throw them out the window as soon as you walk in the store. But these live streams, I watched a couple stores. I don't remember um, what their names were. You can find, just type in Record Store Day 2022 live stream or whatever. And two of these stores had like endless copies of nearly everything. So those were the lucky stores. I think one was in Phoenix and the other one was in Illinois or somewhere. I'm not really sure. So this is cool. And there is the back of it. Um, so that is very cool. I got the idea to grab this one from uh, Channel 33 RPM. I think he got one as a, a review copy or one to, to give away or something like that. With my luck, I'll probably end up winning that copy and then I'll have two of them. But anyway, that is really cool to have something that was originally on my list. Uh, what else did I grab at the store? Now this one, I'm not sure if it's a Record Store Day First or what it is, but it was in the Record State Store Day First section, as at least I thought it was, because again, it was a tiny section he pointed. That's the Record that Store into everybody. That's what it is. And I cannot find Depeche Mode anywhere. I cannot find Depeche Mode listed. So I got to look up this. This was um, uh, Violators, Depe Depeche Mode's Violator, $20.95. Five cents, which I thought was a good deal for anything Depeche Mode, and never find that at Goodwill ever. Never, never, never. It's look, I'm look, like I'm looking down. There we go. I'm looking down. There we go. And there is the song listings right there. If anybody knows what this is, 
Uh, very shiny cover, very, very shiny cover, but Depeche Mode for $20 or $21 essentially. That was certainly worth grabbing regardless if it was Record Store Day first or Record Day, whatever it is. Maybe it was a previous one. I have no idea. The next thing I bought here was Adele 30. And you're saying, oh, geez, everybody's got that. Everybody's seen that. There's 10 billion copies. But as a, as a, as a, I think it was probably as a way to um, make up for um, all the records he didn't get. Um, here is a limited edition ex exclusive clear vinyl Walmart of Adele. And that was 10 bucks for that. A crazy do price for 10 bucks for that. Originally, at one time, it was $40 when it first came out. I think it's still at uh, some local stores for $30. And uh, so there was that. So that is all I got for Record Store Day. I, I, I did get it. Oh, here. One more thing. I got this used Bowie CD for $2. So very unusual Record Store Day. I'll show you my list here. And here's the Record Store Day page right here. I can scroll, scroll up or scroll down here. I'll show it to you. Uh, just go to Record Store Day April 23rd, 22. And you can see what was put out. And maybe my... But like the Taylor Swift at one point was already on eBay for $400. And you see that Taylor Swift was probably in the UK that somebody got it, and then they could do that. The US, so like for example, if you're on the West Coast, which I am, and the store opened at 12, the next store would have opened at 12.30, which I skipped. I just, you know, I spent almost $60, 12, I mean, I mean 12.30, that's an awful long time to, to, to wait to, to, to be open for a record store day. Because many stores open at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but I, I was looking for maybe the replacements that was $36. There was 10,000 copies of that. He didn't have one of those. Uh, if he did, it was sold out uh, when I was already the third person. Kim Shattuck was only $1,200. Uh, Proclaimers was 2000 I would have loved to find a Proclaimers album. Cold War Kids was only 500 Ultravox was 2600 editions. And Sam Phillips' uh, Sun Records was 3000 editions. That was my narrow down list, and I saw none of that. And that's very unusual because I saw a lot of record stores that were previewing their uh, selections, and they got every single one of those, nearly. So, unfortunately, if you shop in small-town America, you get small-town merchandise. But I did get something that I had originally had looked at and had a fun time. And I was out of that store in less than half an hour. That's how small it is. If you have a closet... And you double the size of your closet, that's the size of this store. Very, very tiny. It's like it's like um sleeping in, in a small bedroom. It's not very big at all. And that you know, and it was it was getting a little crowded, but again, and, and a lot of people were dejected, they couldn't find what they wanted, and other people were uh, happy with whatever they could snag. So hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.